guys, so today I'm going to be doing another Dollar Tree haul. And I picked up some things for our trip and mostly for Easter and then just some household things that I needed. And I'm trying to film in my room because I always film in the nursery and it's kind of uncomfortable. I have to move a bunch of things around. So hopefully the lighting's good here. The window's on this side, so I don't know if you're getting a shadow on this side. So hopefully it's okay. Let me know what you guys think about the lighting down below. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And this is in no particular order. I'm kind of just taking each bag and showing you guys what I got. So I finally found some washi at the Dollar Tree. And I know a lot of you guys were posting um, washi from the Dollar Tree. And I never ever saw it. So I finally saw it. And I picked up this gold trim. This is mainly for Audrey's baptism. I think I'm going to use this for either the invitations or some of just the little things that we're printing out and I have a really good friend who's helping me out with all the printables thank you so much so much for your help because it's honestly I, I wouldn't even have time to do it myself so she sent me the invitations she sent me um, banners and cupcake toppers and little food labels basically everything and she does it herself so hopefully she has she opens up her own shop so I can share it with you guys because she's really, really good. I kind of just tell her what I am thinking about and she kind of just goes with it and then we kind of go from there. So she's so, so helpful. And then I picked up this pink glitter washi tape and then another gold. Again, because of the gold, I think I'm going to use for Audrey's baptism. And so I picked up two of these and there are a lot I don't know if you can see there it brings a lot so I'm really excited for these and then I picked up this fresh and natural household odor eliminator that was a tongue twister and I picked this up because I asked for suggestions in my last video actually it was my last Dollar Tree haul because my car was like had this weird smell and I was trying to get it out and I did pick up a few things last time at the Dollar Tree which definitely helped so now my car smells like cherries and smells yummy but a lot of you mentioned um, to pick up one of these Arm & Hammer um, baking sodas and just to open it up and leave it in the car. And this is perfect because it's actually made for that. So you kind of rip this. I don't know if you can see it. But it has this little um, kind of opening that you can rip up from both sides. And then just sit it either in your closet or in the refrigerator or in my case my car. And it will just help and just ventilate through. So that's why I picked this up. Thank you so much for all your suggestions. I'm kind of trying them all out and hopefully they work. And then I also picked up, oh, I missed this one, a teal glitter washi tape. And then I picked this up because I've never seen this before and it's molding beads. It's kind of like a squishy foam. They had a bunch of different colors, kind of like Play-Doh, but a little bit different. And I picked this up to take with me on the plane for Arya to kind of entertain herself. I figure she's never seen this before, so this might kind of entertain her for a little bit. And I also picked up a couple of other activities for her from the dollar store to kind of just pack in the diaper bag with me so I have a lot of things to entertain. I'm also gonna be taking the iPad and the Surface. And the reason we use both is because the iPad, we basically use whenever we have Wi-Fi and internet access, but besides that, we can't really use it. The games, she gets kind of bored of the games really easily. And the Surface, we actually download either shows, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, or movies, and it's there and it's kind of saved into the Surface. So that's a really nice way if we're going to Disney or anything, she could just use her Surface and she knows kind of how to handle it and everything. We do put each movie for her, but she knows how to pause it and rewind it and do all that stuff. So um, we are going to take those two, but I also wanted kind of just activities to... Just little learning activities and things that will keep her mind entertained for this long plane ride. It is an eight hour flight, but we're not taking the direct flight. So we're going to take, I think, five hours first and then stop in Peru for maybe an hour or two. And then it's going to be another three hours. So hopefully that helps a little bit, but I am a little nervous. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below and I'll be making another video. Kind of just suggestions with everything that I researched and I put together on how to travel with babies and what to pack and how to entertain them and all that good stuff. So this is something that I also found. They're very small playing cards and they're just educational cards. We have the ABCs, we have shapes and colors, and then sight words. 
And she basically has these two down packs. She knows her shapes, not all of them, but a lot of them, and her colors and her ABCs. And sight words is definitely something we need to start with. So this is nice because they're small little uh, cards that I'm gonna open this package up and kind of contain them and organize them into Ziploc bags. And that's how I'm gonna contain them in the diaper bag, kind of just organize them by activity into separate Ziploc bags. So hopefully that works. Then I also picked up these clips because Aria is now, whenever we take her to daycare, we basically put her hair back completely back up into a high ponytail but then she has like little bangs that kind of stick out so I like to kind of just pin them up and this is what we're using so this is nice because they're all neutral colors you have the silver then gold glittery black and then kind of a brown glittery so this is nice then this is something we also picked up for the trip and it's just little containers let me see if I can show you guys here little containers of play-doh and I know I've seen some videos saying don't take Play-Doh because it makes a mess in the plane. And, you know, it might not be such a good idea, but I'm desperate. And even if I have to clean up a mess or, you know, all I'm kind of focused on is to entertain Aria. And she loves Play-Doh. So this is nice because they're so small and they come in all these colors. They come in orange, red, green, yellow, blue, pink neon yellow and purple so this is going to be fun to entertain her with and then i picked up these pouches they're applesauce and kind of madagascar madagascar theme i also picked this up for the plane ride let me see if i can take them out they're just small little pouches and um, hopefully i'm able i need to research what i can take food wise for the girls and stuff but i'm sure they're not going to give me a big deal if it's for the kids i don't know what do you guys think i haven't started researching food and what to take and bottles and water and formula none of that so if you guys have any suggestions please 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 leave them down below but this was my idea it comes two to a pack and i just picked this little box up so i can or maybe even while we're in the lobby before the plane i could just give for that and then i also saw these poster letters and they're just glittery letters that I was thinking of kind of opening this package up, putting it in a small Ziploc bag, and then this would be another little activity, and it's just her letters. I could say what color is the letter, and what letter is it, and she loves, loves practicing her letters, even though she's really good at it already. But the W, she kind of always confuses for M, and then what's the K, she'll confuse for Y. So similar ones, she'll still get them a little bit confused, so she loves practicing letter so this is another little plane activity and then I saw these frozen crayons and I'm gonna also pack that in there obviously I'm gonna take coloring books so I just wanted brand new crayons that she would get excited about and frozen is definitely something she gets excited about that's also for the plane and then this stuff is for Easter we did pick up some things for daycare but I also wanted to do a little Easter hunt with the girls at the house i don't know if we're gonna maybe go outside and do a little easter hunt or just hide them around the house but i got these caramel cups that i'm gonna be inserting in some of their eggs and then these jelly beans and they're just lemon head chewy jelly beans and then these eggs these are gum eggs so they're mainly gonna be for jamie and i but I just thought it would be cute to kind of put it into their eggs. She's never had gum. She tried it one time, I think yesterday, kind of just because she saw me chewing gum. So I was like, okay, give it a try. And she hated it and she just spit it back out. I know I don't want to give her too much candy, but usually what we do is we kind of play. She can just find her candy. For Halloween, we did the same thing. She played, she had a little bit of candy, and then I kind of just put it all into a huge Ziploc bag and I put it away. So she didn't have all the candy at the same time. But I, little by little, I would give her candy whenever as a little treat. And then I picked up these eggs. They are 18 to a pack. And I think it's little pastel color, so really cute. These are the eggs I'm going to use for the Easter egg hunt at home. We are required to take 12 eggs to the daycare. And they're going to have a little Easter egg hunt at the daycare. But I already picked some up for daycare. I think they're in different bags. So I picked these up because I thought they would be cute 
and they're just Hello Kitty inspired Easter eggs and they're already filled with candy. And then I picked up some Ninja Turtles and then more Hello Kitty. And we have to take 12 per um, child, so Ari is just gonna take these 12. I was gonna get another pack of these and fill them up, but then I kind of started going through the candy and which candy to get and I just said let me just do these these are already filled it comes four to a pack so four eggs already filled with candy for a dollar I thought this was cute and they're kind of themed with little cartoon characters so the kids will love these so I already these are for daycare these are for the girls Easter egg hunt at home and then I got some of this Easter grass in pink for Aria's Easter basket and then we needed to get Aria a new toothbrush. So this is a Hello Kitty toothbrush. And it has a little kind of top to close the top so it doesn't get dirty. And I think the bottom even kind of hooks onto the counter. So she has, she had a Barbie one, she had an Elmo one, and we had to get a new one. So we brush her teeth every morning and every night. And she's starting to do it on her own, but we still... Usually what I do is I do it for her and I, op I have her open her mouth, I brush her teeth everywhere, I brush her tongue, and then I just let her play with it at the end so she'll kind of brush her own teeth, but she's not too good at it yet, so mommy still does it for her. And then I picked up this little Elmo teething toy for Audrey. It's a little Elmo and it has a little pink star on the bottom and I just thought that was really cute. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator so when she gets home, she can kind of scratch her little gum. Poor baby is totally Oh, she's teething so, so, so bad. Over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, she didn't even eat anything. She only wanted to nurse the entire weekend. I guess her teeth were just killing her, so it was really rough. I also picked up one of these baby bottle cleaners. I had this already, and I bought it a few months ago, so it, it was time to replace. And I like this because it has the little small cleaning, um, I guess like the nipple cleaner on the bottom, and then the top is for the baby bottle. So I love, love, love this, and I... I've already had this, so this is a repurchase for me. Then I saw this, I've never seen this before, and it's the Glass and Surface Cleaner Streak Free. So I wanted to give this a try because usually I actually make my own glass mirror cleaner and I like it, I don't have any issues with it, but I wanted to try this one that kind of comes in a can to see if I like it better. And I'll let you guys know, it's Foaming Action and it's from the Home Store. So I'll let you guys know what I think about this. Then we also needed some Listerine. So I picked that up in the Cool Peppermint Mouthwash flavor. And then, I feel like I'm always saying, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. I hate that movie. Dude, where's my car? If you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, I hate that movie. And I also bought her Cookie Monster teething toy. And it has a little yellow ring on the bottom. And I got more candy. These are little chocolate eggs and little bunny ears that are also chocolate. And then I picked up this super glue because I actually have them right here. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this was Aria's, I, yeah, her first pair of shoes that my mom bought her when I was pregnant with Aria and we didn't even know if it was a boy or a girl. So my mom actually bought her little girly shoes and then bought her these little all-star shoes and I thought these were so cute, little converse. And I love these and Aria wore these, but then she decided that she wanted to eat them as well. So she kind of ripped them a little bit here. So my idea was to get little diamonds and to glue them kind of in the front part. I've seen them kind of on uh, Etsy and stuff. So I got the little diamonds and I picked up some super glue and I'm gonna do it myself and let you know how it comes out. That was kind of my <laughs> little project idea so that's why I picked this up. I also picked up this Doc McStuffin Sparkly Scratch and Reveal. And I think this is a great idea because there's no mess involved whatsoever. And it's basically a little poster board and it comes with a little stick and so all the girls have to just scratch it and then it reveals the color and the picture and it is sparkling so it has like glitter and stuff and she's gonna love this and I love it because 
there's no mess so it's really thin and lightweight and i'm gonna be taking this with me on the play ride and this is gonna be one of her activities and she's never played with anything like this before so i think she's really gonna entertain herself with this then i needed some ziploc bags because like i mentioned earlier I want to organize all of her activities into Ziploc bags and then kind of put that in the diaper bag all organized. So I am prepared for the long eight hour battle on the plane and I picked some up for that. And I think I picked up a different size as well. Oh yeah, here it is. So I picked up a smaller one and then a larger one. And this is an eight pack and this is a six pack because they're bigger. And then I picked up this carpet cleaner because my carpet, I have a carpet downstairs. It's a pretty decent size. It's a huge carpet that I have my sofa kind of a little bit over the carpet, but it's gotten really, really dirty because we basically use that living room every single day. So it's gotten very, very dirty. And I had looked up some DIY recipes that I wanted to use, but I needed a pump that would basically foam up um, the little recipe that we were gonna do and i didn't have one and i couldn't find one so i ended up kind of just bumping into this and said i'm just gonna give this a try if this doesn't work then i'll go ahead and do the diy recipe and i have already sprayed this all over the rug so basically what you have to do is spray it in the desired area let it stand once it's dry then you vacuum and it's supposed to lift up the dirt and i'm really excited because look at the picture right there that's basically what my <laughs> carpet looks like right now we needed to get it that clean. So I'll let you guys know how I like this because I think if this works, I'm gonna be so, so excited. I took a picture of it before, so I'll know how good it works. And then I saw this and I've never seen this and they reminded me of the Red Lobster biscuits. They're those cheesy biscuits that are amazing. And I know that Target has the Red Lobster biscuit mix and I really wanna try those out, but I haven't been able to find them. So I saw this and it's basically the same concept. It's cheese biscuit mix restaurant style. So I'm gonna give these a try and maybe I'll make a video on it. Let me know if you guys are interested in that because if these are good, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna end up buying a couple and having those always at the house because we love those red lobster biscuits. The last thing I got was tissue paper. I always pick up my tissue paper there and kind of have it and I recently ran out. So I picked up this. 40 tissue papers, just white, and I recently did a couple of gifts with this. That's why it looks a little bit damaged, but 40 sheets of white paper, and then I also picked up this one. It's 25 sheets, but they're blue, green, yellow, pink color, and a red color, and that is a great deal because if you go to CVS or Walgreens or any pharmacy, they're really pricey. They're like four sheets of tissue paper for $3, something crazy like that. So this is good because I kind of stock up and I probably won't need tissue paper for a few months or a little bit longer. So that's it guys. That's everything I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I'll let you know how I like the new products that I've picked up. And if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.